dollars. I cannot believe that. It must have diamonds inside or something. Um, so anyways, back to our tour. Um, last but not least in this section is the main electromagnetic valve. And that is this thing right here. Um, there's two wires that go into it. There's a brown wire, which is the ground, and then there's a purple and black wire, which is the hot side. Um, and if you're trying to figure out if it's working or not, you can take a 12-volt hot wire and touch the um, connector that's part of the purple-black wire, and you'll actually hear it click. Um, so if it doesn't click, then your main electromagnetic valve ain't working. Um, next along the line is a whole bunch of um, wires that are grounding and believe it or not you can actually sort of see them again below the reservoir here on the uh, firewally area there's to, there's a nut here with a bunch of wires going into it so that's the uh, common ground for all these wires um, next along are the contact for brake pad wear, and those are actually uh, part or snap into the brake pads, um, so they're not up here in the trunk area. Um, going up to the right hand page, we get to more of the electrical component parts, and we have three fuses that go to the relays in the diode box and those are all over between the uh, air inlet box here and the right front fender so over here in this hidey hole is this is the ABS computer here and this is the uh, plug that plugs into it and then, depending on how your car is set up, there are these four little plastic boxes which correspond to these four boxes here. Um, first you have the relay for the electrical control unit, and that is this green one back here. And it has a fuse associated with it. Uh, that fuse that's associated with it, I think, is the one that tends to uh, melt. So mine's replaced with a uh, inline uh, unit with a glass fuse that's supposed to be a lot more robust. Um, the next relay is called the control relay for the fluid pump, uh, and that's this oops, black one here and it has an associated fuse with it on the side. Um, basically, if when you turn your accessories on, if you hear the uh, pump over here whirring, then you know your fuel pump relay is working properly. Um, next one along is the control relay for the ABS system during cranking. And that is this orange one here, again with its associated fuse. So you have three relays with one fuse here, one fuse on the side there, and then this is the other fuse. So those are our three fuses here. Now there's one more box, but this one isn't a relay. Um, this is called a diodes box. And it's this little black box down here and I'm sure it's hard to see but on the front of it you can see the little lines with arrows or uh, triangles on it which are the electrical signs for diodes so that's the diodes box as you can see it also has a um, what looks like a fuse holder in front of it but there's no fuse in it uh, that's because that's the diagnostic uh, slot so if we go back to our uh, schematic Here's our diodes box, and here is the socket for diagnosis. Um, you put a 10 amp fuse into there if you're trying to pull the codes off. So, um, But otherwise, driving around, there shouldn't be a fuse in it. Okay, coming down to the lower right-hand page, we have 
the plug that goes into the ABS computer, uh, which we're going to deal with shortly. And when you unplug it and turn it upside down, that's the view you're getting. But it tells you you can follow all the wires and figure out what goes where. Or if you look in the workshop manual under the brake chapter, they again have a diagram, but they actually have labeled in English what every wire going in is and what it goes to. So that's an overview of the whole system. Okay, if we go between the left front fender and the reservoir and look down in the inky blackness, you're going to see that white connector down there. And that is the connector for the coaxial cable that's coming up from the left front wheel sensor, it comes up and hooks in there and then you have the wire that goes from there to the computer. Um, so it's got two little squeezy things on either side, you push those and you can disconnect the coaxial cable um, to test the left front wheel sensor, but it's actually easier to test it from the um, plug here on the ABS computer, so that's what we'll be doing. Okay, now we're going to test the wheel speed sensor, right front wheel. So I just jacked up the right side enough to be able to spin the right wheel. And then I unplugged the connector for the computer and pull it up and it's sitting right here. And Going back to the schematic, um, I traced back which wires go to there's the right front wheel sensor, which wires go into the plug, and I stuffed a wire into each side, the positive and the negative, and then I have them hooked up half-acidly to the leads to my uh, multimeter. So this is going to be sort of the, uh, the crude test. Um, Now the first thing is uh, check the ohms, and if you have an open circuit, then you're screwed. Uh, but if I flip mine on ohms, I do have oop, ohms. Uh, 1.128 is what it's reading, and that seems to be about the same on all of mine. So that seems to be consistent. Uh, then I'm going to flick it to volts, and should be zero, which it is. And now I'm going to spin the wheel very slowly. And if you do it very slowly, you're going to see that there is voltage up and down. And if you look on the left side of the display, you're going to see a minus there occasionally, and occasionally not a minus. That's because as the reluctor spins past the sensor, um, you're actually getting a wave up and down of the um, sensor. Um, so this is a crude way of doing it, but it works, but you do have to spin the wheel very slowly. Uh, because it's a positive negative wave, if you spin the wheel too fast, the voltmeter will just sort of even it out and you'll end up with nothing. Okay, the other way to test is to hook it up to an oscilloscope, which I didn't think I had until I thought, yeah, I wonder if there's an app for a computer for an oscilloscope. And, ha, huh, guess what? There is, for free. Uh, it's called VA Visual Analyzer, and you just plug the leads into the microphone input of your computer, and presto, you cut your own oscilloscope. So I'm going to spin my wheel... And now you see the up and down patterns that the thing's putting out. So that's a fancier way to test it.